It can be beetles that come off a cactus. It can be the dried urine of a cow, little insects that grow on an oak tree, a chunk of lead that's soaked in vinegar. It's truly amazing. We're in Harvard University outside the Forbes pigment collection. Pigment is a very small particle of coloured material that is mixed in with a binding medium. The pigment gives paint its colour. The Forbes pigment collection has been brought together over several decades. We have around 2,500 pigments. We have a lot of very unusual and very rare colours. So th this is, I think, one of the more unusually named pigments. It's called dragon's blood. Um, it doesn't come from dragons, it comes from rattan palms, and it gives a very bright red pigment. The unusual aspect of mummy has to do with its source rather than the colour itself. And that comes from Egyptian mummies. And it's the resin that's applied to the outside of the bandages. I think the rarest colour that we have is actually a, an entire ball of Indian yellow. And this is a pigment that is made from the dried urine of cows that are fed only on mango leaves. If you're looking at a work of art and you want to understand what is original and what's a restoration, you will take a tiny sample of pigment and analyze it. A lot of the pigments are actually toxic. So you don't want to handle the pigments and then go out to lunch. There's a, a green called emerald green that has an arsenic center to it. We can use them for telling if something is real or not. People will say this is by a certain artist and we can look at the materials that are used and decide if those materials were available during that artist's lifetime. If not, then we have to look at who might have painted that picture. I can't pick a personal favourite. It's like asking to pick a favourite child. No, the other 2,400 would feel left out.